Okay, folks, we're going to get started in about five seconds. Very, very excited for this one. Uh, obviously, this is our last of seven matches. I think we've only seven matches left. Uh, this is second chance bracket, round seven. The winner of this will be going on to face Stan in a best of five matchup. This is our very last best of three. And if we're looking at the two players, you might think, oh, well, Paco's obviously the big favourite. But if you've been around the last couple of weeks, you might heavily reconsider that because Fitz has been doing some absolute magic with his category. Uh, Fitz, Fitz with an old... Sorry, fits with a 10.40. 10.40? That's just so insanely good. Uh, Paco also with a 10.40, I believe, as well. So, on paper, these guys are insanely close. In terms of race consistency, that's maybe another question. Paco has always been pretty damn good, uh, as you would expect. Fitz as well uh, has been... Uh, has been producing some really, really good times as well. So I think this one's pretty much 50-50 in terms of who's going to come out victor. Bookies would have a very difficult time deciding who favorite is. Nothing very much to say on Y2 or Y3. Will be interesting to see if we're gonna get some shell jumps. I think there's a very good chance that Fitz will attempt this. I'm not sure about Paco. Um, I guess we'll just have to see. Okay, so both went for both not quite getting it though. Um, it's good to see that Paco actually did go for it. Uh, Okay, so tied at the moment. Going into Castle One, we might see some divergence uh, in the lead. Just need to refresh a bit. Like a bit. Okay, that looked pretty good from Fitz. I didn't quite get what Paco did there. Uh, I have a quite a big delay between both streams, unfortunately. You see, it's, it's interesting that you say that, Mick, because that is the case for a lot of people. There are some people that are absolute gods at RTA, got speedrun world records, and they've got all the best RTA times, yet whenever it comes to races, it's just so difficult to pull off, and that is a problem for a lot of people. So, whenever it's this close, whoever brings that better race mentality to the table might end up being the victor. Very easy to get nervous, very easy to get thick greedy in race, whereby doing a draft saves like half a second less better play. Uh, we had Silver Star talking about this a lot, um, percentage plays and whatnot. And I generally agree with uh, that position. Okay, so that was very, very close to World 1, as we'd expect, going into World 2, though. DP1, looking for a good flight speed. Do we have it? I think Paco has the speed, um, getting it eventually there. Didn't get it on takeoff. Fits as well, unfortunately, having to make up for some um, slower flight speed up. So we're seeing a difference in one in second one. Okay, so DS1's a very challenging level. Both runners will be hoping their 
Secret Shell right to the end. Very tough to do. So these last two fish, um, quite tricky. Ew, very nice though. Paco, whoa, whoa. Paco getting the 258. I would expect nothing less of him, but that was really, really good. Um, well no. Well no, that was interesting from Fitz. Fitz went over that last fish. Um, that's pretty interesting, I've never seen that before. It's a 257 because of it, but uh, that was a nice recovery. I, I'm not sure it was a bit strange. I'm miles ahead? Are you serious? I'm delaying by like 10 seconds. Oh my word. Oh guys, I'm so sorry. Though my streams are fresh, so you might need to refresh on your end. Apologies, guys. Apologies. Uh... Refresh after the big boot fight. It's time for everyone to get their Super M37 Smash Rules out. I know I will be. I can navigate this new menu. Wow. Well. Yeah, so from both of them there, that was pretty unfortunate to see. Um, Bits actually looked like he got very close to that first right side zip, but I'm not sure what happened, mostly because my, my stream buffered as well at the same time. But um, he must have just missed the uh, that zip. I forget what you call it. Um, wow, both of my streams are lagging like heck noise, so I'll just... Ah, Matthew, that's interesting. I wondered. I knew there couldn't have been as much of a difference. You shitty force. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Hope you enjoy your awesome emotes and enjoy those very, very good zips. Of course. Okay, Paco gets out of Star World 4 in one piece. Hopefully that's caught up. Looking all... Oh, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think I understand the issue. I think because both streams are synced, but because Paco is like... I cannot get Paco synced in mine. I'm gonna be like way out for Paco every time. I'm just going to let these guys and their races speak for themselves while we get this result, because they've both been playing really well. Uh, with the exception of Star World 1. Sometimes that can just happen. Um, you're never going to get 100% complete with this. Oh, and it's the fit strat, not quite getting it. This is unfortunate because it's pretty cool to see that. And I was still ahead. I can't believe I was still ahead. I delayed that by too long. Uh, I'm gonna say at this point, uh, it's probably hoping. Paco will make some sort of mistake in the Bowser fight. I don't think the hits on Bowser would be enough. There does seem to be a reasonable enough gap here. Both 
Orcs have been looking pretty strong so far. Oh wow, I've never seen that dude sad about that. It's so awesome. I love it. End of phase three. Only two more hits to go for both. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Well, Paco must be counting as a lucky stars. He got hit on that last hit, but had he not landed that, that probably would have been enough for Fitz to overtake him. Now, if you saw where Mario froze on the top of the screen, you were thinking, okay, that looks pretty good. But the majority of times, whenever we get, or whenever we see people get hit at the top of the screen, they are nowhere near hitting that last minute. So, thankfully for Paco, actually landing that last hit. Otherwise, Fitz might have had an opportunity to take that um, for himself. Guys, we will be back in about five minutes for race two of the best of three match. Do not go away. Okay, folks, the new room's up. No rush, but just whenever both of you are feeling comfortable. just had a thought there now unfortunately um one of the things that held me up so so badly today was i only woke up half an hour ago and you folks in america might be thinking oh 1 p.m that doesn't sound too bad until you realize what my time zone is uh, and that i woke up at about five minutes before this race and this race started at 6 p.m my time so nice sleep schedule uh yeah it's pretty pathetic honestly. But we actually have the weekly coming up in two hours. Yeah, I sort of went on a big tangent there because I was going to mention the weekly. Um, we do still have plans for the weekly, but I, I haven't actually got the ball rolling about that. Uh, we might still be having a weekly race, but I don't know if we'll be restreaming. Well, when I say that, we will not be restreaming. I'm pretty confident, but... Um, There is still possibility for that going on. I mean, I think the weekly still happened last week between Xander and somebody else. I'm not sure. 
But yeah, that will be at 30 turn for anybody interested. Oh, that's also uh, weekly six exit. Well, you, you can fairly accurately call it the weekly. Um, I reckon in the last calendar year, uh, the majority of weeks were raced. Probably talking over 40. Even though it is uh, usually the Xander and Louis show. Okay, folks. We have got this next match underway. We're getting started couple of seconds. Yes, shitty. It is indeed 96. Oh, wow, you had four people last week. Sorry, that actually sounded really sarcastic, but that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Which is just... It's unfortunate. Yo, nice. It's getting that disco jump at the start. It's pretty much confirmed. So basically what that is, is if you spin jump on the last frame, going into whenever Mario freezes, he does like the little animation for starting to spin jump, stays frozen and stuck to the ground. Um, you can do the same with B jump, um, but you just get the sound. Collo colloquially, ugh, my god, that's hard to say. Colloquially referred to as Phantom Jump, or no, no, I don't even know what it is. That's a Mario Maker, or it might it might be the called the same thing as well. Colloquially, colloquially, <laughs> big words are hard. They both are looking very good again uh, in Y3. Again, as expected. It's very easy to just miss one of those jumps if you've got any race nerves or anything going on in your head. But going into Y4, will we be some shell jumps? That's Very nice, Paco got it. That's a really, really solid start. It's just got to help him build some confidence as well. Not that at this point he really needs it, but um, it has to feel good to get that. It's not quite getting it, but it's it's nice on shell jump. Yeah, that seems to be the case for me, Matthew. No matter what I do, uh, I can't get them even sort of synced up, which kind of makes it impossible for me here. Although it is looking pretty, it is looking pretty good now. You are, what's up? Yes, Paco took down that first match. It was a very, very close one, as expected. We've got two 1040s going up against each other, so it's, it's going to be very tough. But yeah, we both had decent world ones. Paco especially with getting that shell jump.
Okay, how will the flex be treated this time? Packer was last time got a six, um, a 62. Or was it a 62? Yeah, it was a 62 compared to a 61. Um... Okay. Yeah, so... Well, there. But it's... When I come down to this DS one again, uh, Paco last time got a 258. It was so good. Um... It was a good 258 as well. This getting a 257, holding the shell right to the end, but doing it a bit differently. Okay, so Paco bonked, had to slow down in the middle section there a bit. Hmm. Well. I mean, I have to say, Paco has been playing really, really well. Hasn't been giving Fitz any opportunities. Uh, Fitz looking pretty disappointed with losing Shell right at the end there, which is understandable. And if he's keep, ooh, okay, if he's keeping track of pack, it could be a bit intimidating seeing just how he's playing. Yo, what's up, Brazil? Welcome. Thank you so much, Furious, for the raid and the host. Absolutely incredible for such an awesome match as well. Thank you again so much, Furious, for the host. Aha, we have we have all the video lovers in here now. I'm pretty excited for uh, for the upcoming matches. I'm looking forward to Panama playing tomorrow. I'm looking forward to Panama hopefully beating England on Saturday, I think. <laughs> That's a pretty big ask though. Sorry, England. Nice. Yeah, Iceland's an awesome Wii team as well. Uh, they did really well in 2016 in the Euros. I think they got to like the semi-finals or something. I just tend to like teams that beat England, you know? I'm sorry, I, I'm only joking. I, I actually don't even mind. I hope they, well. But anyway, back to this match. It's looking insanely close. Um, I'm gonna have to see whenever both of them collect this keyhole. What sort of lead you actually have? Okay, that's SRL for timing. Add two. Um. Okay, I I think fits pretty ahead then, right? That makes sense. Yeah, it looks like Fitz is ahead by two seconds. I think. My my, this is insanely close. I mean, missing that door too, it's so damn costly, and unfortunately as well, it's not something that you're actually gonna get over anytime soon. Door two is something that you'll have down very, very consistently, but sometimes it bloody happens. You. You. But we got it in the end. Getting that bit dark room, holy crap, that was so nice. Now, the majority of that swag 
doesn't actually save time, but it's absolutely incredible to watch. Yeah, pretty interesting dark room strat, as you say. <laughs> I mean, it's a pity, it's a pity that it doesn't, doesn't save sort of conventional strats because it's just the coolest thing ever. Getting that dive bomb fly and then flying with the Mega Koopa. Also, a really weird thing that I came across the other day, I was playing Randu and I got Darkroom without it being dark and didn't lag anywhere near as much. So I'm thinking the dark, like the dark filter on dark room actually lags the game like crazy. It makes sense, well, considering like how even one sprite on screen tends to lag the game really badly. You walk, what's up? Time to call dots. Thankfully, I think dots is still about. I think dots is still awake for whatever reason. I don't think he took the bed yet, probably. If I had to get. But I saw him about half an hour ago there. Yes, this is insanely close. Hmm. Well. Well. Um. Even though we probably will do a read time, I'm not sure. I sort of feel like Fitz got that one. I, I feel like Fitz got that one by even like a second. Fitz seemed to hit the last Mega Koopa at blue 1046. Uh, Paco hit it in like 47. Well, of course, SRL is going to just. Be lying. SRL is very inaccurate within like two seconds. Yeah, that was an absolutely incredible match. Um, such a good time to get a host as well uh, for all you guys to see one that's so, so insanely close. And both these guys as well, both with 10 40s. Fits with the second best time in 11 ice no glitch. Taco frames behind. Who wins? You decide. Do they still make epic rock bottles? I haven't seen one of those for like five years. I think the last one was probably like the 12 one I saw. It's like the eagle, eagle win. <laughs> Why, that's a blast. Huh? Alrighty, folks. We will be back in a couple of minutes. This one is going to take a little bit longer. But, um... We've got dots on, on this. Thanks so much to our, uh, um, I don't know what I was going to say there. Yes, thanks very much to Dots for the return. Ah, I just I just realized something. I'd actually forgotten about this. But in half an hour we have Brazil versus Switzerland. Now I'm thinking that Brazil probably will win that one. Probably. That could be an interesting match. I'm definitely gonna be watching that one. So let me just see beyond that. Yes, good luck, Brazil.
so like I said, and like a lot of people think, um, Fitz probably did take this one, but obviously it was close. We have to double check. Did I? Uh, did I uh, account for that? Oh dear. Well, we'll just have to see then. I'm actually not comfortable making a call there. Ooh, man in. Such a weird funny. Oh, Fitz. Oh, Fitz, that door too. Door missing door two always makes me so sad because it never happens in PB attempts. It never happens in practice, but boy in races, it's gonna crop up sometimes. And I've seen it I've definitely seen it a lot more uh, than what you'd expect from top players. Oh wait, what happened in door five? Oh did you miss the door? End or something, or miss door five, or something. Oh my word! Well, folks, it's always going to be very disappointing for somebody. Um, but looks like Paco was taking this one. Yeah, I really, really wasn't sure. Uh, I, I thought Fitz may have taken it, but a read time was necessary, and this very much uh, the reason why. I think this is the first result that we've had, sort of, well, not overturned. Uh, we haven't actually made a decision yet, but um, sort of against what was expected. So, big congrats to Paco. Very well done on the 2 0 win. Uh, no, un unfortunately not. This hasn't even been close to the closest race. Uh, although, having said that, I can't really think more for closer. But yeah, we've had we've had it within a uh, single amount of frames several times. But yeah, as I said, whenever it comes this close, it's always going to be very disappointing for somebody. Um, I mean, you could say, oh wow, well, is this not basically a tie? Well, unfortunately, one of those drums was faster than with Paco's. But yeah, um, our current restreamer at the moment, Matthew, uh, whenever he faced Dots or Cool in the semi finals of the SMA2 tournament, he only lost against Dots by two frames. And actually, come to think of that as well, uh, Dots as well lost his match against. Um, against Drama's Cup. I like two frames as well, like two or three frames.
I'm just gonna point out, had we not been using SRL timing, uh, Dots actually would have won that one, which is so unfortunate. But anyway guys, I wanna thank everybody so much for coming and supporting these runners. Um, again, it's always gonna be sort of disappointing for one of the runners when it's that close. Just having to mute the TV there. TV's talking about Germany. I wish I'd been awake for that match. It looked really good. Okay, sorry, I'm I'm getting distracted. Let me turn. Um yeah, unfortunately, uh Fitz was um under a time constraint there, so we'll have to run. I'm not sure if Paco wants to say anything in live. If he does, he's more than welcome to, as always. Other than that though, looks like we're done for now. Okay, folks, so with regards to upcoming matches, uh, now that this match has been uh, resolved, sorted, played out, whatever, um, Paku's now going to be going on to face Stan. That match is going to be a best of five. Now, unfortunately, because Stan is in Australia, it's going to be hard to schedule that match, but we've got to try as hard as possible uh, to actually get it scheduled, because... Yeah, we're running a bit behind at this point. Only six more matches to go. Um, yeah. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there a bit there. Here we go. Here is the link to the Discord. I really encourage everybody to join that if you haven't already. Just a good way to know whenever uh, matches are happening. Uh, the other good place would be the Super Mario World, World Twitter. Yeah, so every time we have a match, I'll, I'll post on the Twitter. Um, you'll also see people making uh, matches and scheduling matches in Discord, and then live notifications posted there as well. But yeah, thanks so much everybody, I hope everybody's enjoyed this. Big congrats to Paco, very, very well done. I've been playing so consistently throughout, uh, and congrats to Fitz as well, I've really, really enjoyed watching him go through this tournament, getting a 1040 as well uh, during the process, so very, very impressed. And I just want to thank our restreamer, Matthew, for the quality restream, as always. And yeah, that's it for me. Everyone, so much for watching, and take care.